Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about starter items by designer. Now this isn't necessarily a collection of like the first designer items you should buy. I have already done that video and I will leave it linked down below of the first bag that you should add to your collection. But I'm going through a number of designers. Give my light suggestions on um, what are good starter pieces for the brand. Like what will give you a good feel for the materials, what's really great bang for your buck, and as well as like what certain brands are like kind of known for. So you can buy something timeless and classic. When you are first dipping your toe into a brand, these are the things that I recommend starting small with. If you're new here, my name is Catherine and my channel is KW Shops. I spent the last five plus years working in the luxury resale industry. So, and here on YouTube, I give you guys shopping tips as well as care and just general information about the pre-loved luxury resale market. So if that's interesting to you, subscribe to my channel for more videos. There's a couple of pieces that are ubiquitous for most, most if not all of the designer brands. Um, first one being perfume. Most of the brands now are making are, are making perfume and I do think that's just a little small touch of luxury that at a much more affordable price point. Um, perfume, I think generally you can find anywhere from $30 for a trial size to maybe $200 for some of the more expensive ones. I think the most expensive brand of perfume, it might be the Louis Vuitton ones, those are new. I am not a huge perfume person. I have over the years found a couple that I like. I'm very sensitive to smells, um, but, um, but perfumes are one that can go for any brand and I think most of the designer brands do have their own scents. And so the second item that goes for most brands are the sunglasses. Uh, so once again, these are a great way to dip your toe into designer items, period. It's a great way to like, you know, start your little inspo corner of your closet with all the packaging and things like that. I have a couple of favorite brands that I will be discussing throughout the video. They are definitely on the pricier side when it compares to most sunglasses. And they're also something too that you're probably going to get a lot of use out of, which is super important, especially when you're making among your first designer luxury purchases. I'm gonna start with Hermes. Hermes is like queen bee of the designer brands. Most everything in there is like ridiculously expensive. With Hermes, uh, the items that I would start with are the Oran sandals. These have grown in popularity. They are just a pair of logo slide sandals that are super classic. People do say they tend to be very comfortable. Luxury lovers out there know and love these sandals. They're super popular and they come in a variety of different colors. Um, I have, will caution you that you definitely want to try them on beforehand. Um, they do tend to run a bit small. Normally I'm a US 9 and I had to I had to get these in a 41, I believe. Normally I wear a, a, a European 40, but the Hermes Iran sandals, super popular and are a great starter piece for the Hermes brand. Uh, next on my list for Hermes is something that I started my own personal Hermes collection with and that is their leather bracelets. This one has been discontinued. Um, this is called the Micro Kelly bracelet. It's a single tour. It's something just really, really simple. It has the look of the classic uh, Birkin and Kelly strap. I just absolutely adore this thing. I just think it's really easy to throw on. I will say the qual I mean, the uh, the wear on it hasn't been great, great, but I also did buy it in a light color. So this one has been discontinued, but what I would um, point you towards instead are the uh, CDC dog collar bracelet. That, that one's really super popular as well. Kelly double tour bracelet, that one wraps around your wrist twice, it's made of leather. Now, when most people think of Hermes bracelets, they are more than likely envisioning the click clacks. Those I don't tend to recommend because they scratch very easily. To me, they, they're a little bit everywhere. I much prefer the, le the, the range of leather bracelets instead. When I think of Hermes, I kind of don't think of logos generally, so I do tend to skew towards the leather bracelets as opposed to the Click H, which are made of like metal and ceramic. Um, those are just my picks. Let me know in the comments below if you guys agree. Last on my list for Hermes are the Twilly scarves. I think these are so cute and there's a number of different uses for them. These retail for about $120 each, I think, which is a lot for a small little square of silk but if we're talking about Hermes here, I do recommend buying them two at a time. That way, if you do ever have a bag with double handles or you need it to be a bit longer, trying to find the exact singular one in the resale market isn't very easy if you ever do wanna do that. If you're going to experiment with Hermes Twillies, 
just go ahead, save yourself the headache, buy two. If you don't end up using the second one, th then I guess sell it, but start out with two. I own one Twilly in my collection. Um, I've had it wrapped on a bag, so it is a little bit wrinkly right now, but these have a variety of different uses. But these can be worn in your hair, that you can wear them on your wrist as like sort of like a sort of like a bracelet. Um, you can tie it onto your Apple Watch. You can. I, I like to wear them on my bags, sort of like incorporate them as a strap to some of the more mini ones. And they're just they're just great for a variety of different purposes. Um, for Chanel starter pieces, I do recommend SLGs, but I would tread very, very carefully with them. Chanel has a much higher price point than a lot of the other luxury designer fashion houses. When going for SLGs, I would definitely go for something a bit hardier and harder wearing. Um, for example, I have my key holder. This is in, I believe, deer skin leather, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I would tend to avoid lambskin for SLGs. I have used this piece every single day of my life since maybe 2017, I want to say. And also too, I bought it pre-loved on Vessier Collective and this item is over 10 years old. If you are going to try out card holders and key holders for Chanel, then definitely go for the harder wearing harder wearing caviar and other types of leather. My number one favorite for starter Chanel pieces are the clutch with chain bags. This is a very specific bag that I just think is so incredible, especially for the price. I, I may be wrong about this, but you can probably, we can more than likely still find these bags for under $2,000 and that is no easy feat at Chanel these days. Uh, this has the functionality of the wallet on chain with a bit more use function and a bit more capacity on the inside. It's a bit bigger of a bag and I just think it's a little bit better. Now it has two zipper compartments on either side and then, they and then the middle is open, um, but it's just a little bit wider of compartments and functionality and I believe they also too have card slots if I'm not mistaken. They make them as a part of the different seasonal collections so you can, there's a lot of great ones out there too. To find. Now, especially when you take in, take under consideration the price point, I think this is a very, very underrated piece from Chanel. Next on my list, we have Dior. Uh, Dior bags, I think, rival in price point with Chanel, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend going with bags for a for a first piece, for a first starter piece from Dior. There are some some designers that I would say go for bags, I'll get to those later, but Dior would not necessarily be one of them. My starter piece for Dior is the Montaigne belt. This has the Montaigne logo that they use on a variety of different bags um, from the collection, and um, I just, once again, think that this is a very understated logo that isn't going to be so, like, monogram happy and will last you through many seasons to come. The leather is really, really great quality, and I think that, um, and I think that just this piece is just super understated. So starting a starting your collection with Dior, I think this would be a great pick. And actually, currently I have this on my wish list. Now I know I've already said sunglasses are great for most brands, but I am going to shout out Dior specifically because I love their sunglasses. Their sunglass designs are so unique and so different. Um, this is a pair that I bought about a year ago. These are called the Stellaire sunglasses. I have them in silver with gold rims and I think they're amazing. Dior just has really interesting, different, cool, and, and somewhat classic but, but still unique designs. Um, this is my favorite pair of sunglasses that I've ever owned in my entire life and I think that they would fit most any face shape. Uh, another thing too, like I mentioned earlier about sunglasses, is that they tend to be on the slightly more affordable side. Obviously, I do think that Dior does tend to skew towards the more expensive, higher end of price in sunglasses. For four to six hundred dollars is not the same as four to five thousand dollars for a handbag. So now we're going for Louis Vuitton. If you're considering a first designer purchase at all, I think Louis Vuitton is the brand to start with. Now, um, it has it definitely is topic of discussion lately in the luxe community that Louis Vuitton sort of doesn't like that they are the starter luxury brand and they're trying to get they're trying to get away from that sort of attitude um, with their brand, which to me is really disappointing. I think that um, there needs to be like an entryway and I think that any brand should be a, a little bit more enthusiastic about catering to people who are starting their luxury journeys. To start with in Louis Vuitton, I'm going to recommend wallets. 
their wallets are so great and so hard wearing uh this is actually a piece from 2006 um this is called the robot clay and it is a very rare piece it's very hard to find what, what i do mean to say about their canvas is that it is amazing so i have two wallets from louis vuitton uh this one i purchased pre-loved years ago and this one i bought new um there definitely is a difference in the like feel of the canvas but generally I would say that for something like a wallet that you're going to be handling vigorously and frequently um, I think Louis Vuitton canvas is great. I also have to heard great things about the Empreinte leather. They're definitely trying to push more leather out there and um, the Empreinte leather in some of the wallets is a lot better than I, I would recommend that over the bags. Um, also too with Louis Vuitton, uh, Louis Vuitton is one of the only brands that I would recommend a bag as a starter piece. I think that especially especially um especially including vintage i have one vintage louis vuitton right here and this is the louis vuitton saint cloud in the gm size obviously you want to be careful with like things like authentication but there are many many reputable places where you can where you'll know you're, you're getting a genuine piece personally i think they're a lot better quality especially in the canvas that's just my personal opinion many many different types and styles of bag this to me is like a more casual one the vintage bags, there are a ton of them out there and they definitely are on the much more affordable side. This is something I do recommend as a first as a first designer piece as well as a first um, a first Louis Vuitton piece specifically. And so also too with Louis Vuitton, I do recommend um, bags like the Pochette Matisse, the Favorite, the Speedy Bandolier, obviously, as well as the Neverfull and the Alma. All of those I think are great first, first bag purchases. So as long as you can find something at a relatively decent price point, I would say go for it. Um, especially, especially I'm gonna say this in the canvas because it is so so durable and so hard wearing. Uh, the pochette too, I also have, this is the mini pochette. These are very, I mean, when I bought this, they were a lot easier to get your hands on these. And it was shortly afterwards that I think they kind of like pulled the rug out from everyone. But if you are able to find these in the store as well, I think that this is another great thing to start your Louis Vuitton collection with. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I, this is just something a little bit different. I have covered your first bag in the past. If you haven't seen that video, obviously, I will link it down below. Comment down below uh, some of the first items you bought from particular designers if you have. And if you haven't, then let me know what you guys are thinking about when in your purchases. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one.